Okay, let's talk about cars in a Legacy Time version 2. Get yourself cars, you need two uh, requirements, and that is going to be Vampire as your spec and another Vampire Mask. So I'd recommend you to get two Vampire Masks to be able to get yourself cars, which is an involved form of Vampire. So once you have gotten yourself Vampire and Vampire Mask, use the Vampire Mask on um the vampire and as you can see here i have gotten myself cars and this is what the cars model looks like as you can see on the screen and if you look here at the stats you're gonna see that cars has aaa stats and a little information about cars itself is that cars is the main antagonist of part two battle tendency cars is the leader of the pillarmen and the designer of the stone mask his goal is to evolve further to become immune to the sun's ray, and thus he seeks the red stone of Aja to empower his mask. Battling the rip, uh, Ripple users for its possession, he is ranked first out of all the pillar men. That's, uh, that's the info. So now that you know that, let's go ahead and show you what this guy has to offer. So let's go with the first one, the left mouse button. As you can see, it deals 3 damage per punch. Next one is going to be the Brilliant Bone Blade. You need to hold E. And as you can see, it deals 3 damage per punch, with a, which also has a critical hit of 6 damage. Next one is going to be the hu Superhuman Punch. Go ahead and click R. And as you can see, it deals 50 damage and should also deal loads of knockback. However, it doesn't really show it. Next one is going to be Blood Suck, as it says in the name when you click T. You're going to literally suck your opponent's blood or drain your opponent's blood. Deal at least decent enough damage and then heal up. However, the blood suck is broken, so you can't really use it. Next one is going to be the spinning attack. Go ahead and click F. And as you can see there, it deals 100 damage with a critical hit of 200. You can go a little bit farther away to do this attack. Now let me show you, of course, the cooldown. Because, like I said, it's a lot more easier to show with the cooldown on than with it off. So, let's go ahead and click um, F. As you can see, that's what it does. Just go a little bit farther away and you will just dash forward. So, yeah, that is what the uh, cars has to offer. I know it's not a lot, but, but at least it is usable. More usable than the vampire itself. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you have... Like, oh. By the way, you can also do stand jump as a miscellaneous uh, move. You can also, um, you can't block, unfortunately. However, you can dash and you are able to move faster than normal people who have stand. You can also dash. Oh, you can do you can dodge and dash by clicking V. Okay. Okay, that's dope. You can also pose if you want to. You can also have letters at the top of your head. Yes, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Any question is available, but that is cars. Yeah, thanks for watching and maybe see you again in the next video. Bye.